Okay, so now we're going to try to create a sleep schedule for ourselves. Again, if we can wake up and go to bed at the same time, we're going to uh, synchronize our circadian rhythm, and that's going to make life a lot easier if we can manage it. Uh, it sometimes can seem unrealistic. I know when I was in college, I couldn't imagine doing this, but if I had, I probably would have been a better athlete. So we should really attempt to make a good schedule. And uh, another reason to make a schedule is that, you know, you don't always have to 100% stick to it, but it's nice to have some guidelines in your day. Most people who accomplish great things in their life have developed some type of schedule. So that's what I'm trying to do this semester. And I want us to at least start on this task and see if you can figure it out. So when you're trying to set up your sleep schedule, the first task is to just fill out normal daily things that you have to go to. So for instance, uh, I teach, so I have class at noon with some of you, and that goes until uh, 1.15. So there we go. Oh, I guess I only need, don't need that last one there. And then I have class again at 3. Let's set that one down. Okay, so, uh, and then on Tuesday, I have class at 1030. And so this is what you're going to start doing. You're just going to start filling out your schedule. And I'm not going to fill out my whole schedule. Next, what I do is I start thinking, okay, what else? The lab opens up at 730. I typically have to be there around 7 if somebody schedules. So let's call this work, HPL. And then I'm going to drag that down. I need to eat, so let's call this lunch right here. I also need some breakfast, so let's get that in there. And so it turns out that the earliest I have to wake up is 6 a.m. So unfortunately, my waking time is 6 a.m. And what I can do is I can just drag that across. So based on that, I wake up at 6 a.m. So then what you want to do is you want to count backwards. So if I have to wake up at 6 a.m. in order to get eight hours of sleep, I have to be asleep by 10. So we're going to say in bed at 10. We're going to drag that across. And then you want to like give yourself a little prep time. So I'd say prep for bed right there at 9.30. We'll drag that across. So you kind of see where this is going. And what I want you to do is you're going to create a schedule and you're going to fill in every single 30-minute uh, section. So let me show you what my schedule looked like. So here's my schedule. You're also going to color code your schedule. That is worth some points as well. And so I spent a lot of time on this, probably about two hours. So, uh, you know, you don't have to spend that much time, but I want you to get some practice. What I originally did is I just wrote it roughly in my notebook and I tested that out. Um, so, and then I put it on here and made it very well defined. So with my job, I am not always doing the same thing. And you might not be either with like your homework and stuff. So. Like I have work here and there's multiple things I could do for work, but if I don't have a lab scheduled or something or, you know, doing a body comp or a VO2 max test, then I'm working on this class or reading. So uh, I kind of have those defined there. I have some gray work hours as well. And then I have my class schedule when I eat and then when I wake up. And so my goal for the semester is to attempt to follow this. Another thing about your schedule is you want to make sure that you have some time to enjoy yourself. So again, the purpose for the for a schedule is so that you're productive and so that you're getting things done that you need to get done so that you're free to do things that you want to do. And that's why we're really creating this, so we can get our sleep right and then we can actually enjoy ourselves and accomplish what we want to in life. So uh, that's kind of how I want us to do that. Again, you're going to create your schedule and then determine the earliest time you got to wake up, set that wake period, and then try to set that bed period. Even if you can't follow your schedule, I still want you to create it with that eight hour window. Um, you know, and there's a little bit of leeway, but uh, just, you know, do what you can. And then I want you to color coordinate these as well. If you wanna go above and beyond, a uh, little extra credit activity here is, I went ahead and added up all my hours that I'm doing per day of like work or just hanging out, cooking, eating, etc. And then you can bring it over here and you can complete it in this pie chart. So uh, it's kind of interesting just to see how you're spending your time, a little time break down here. Um, and again, uh, to use this, you need to uh, go over to file, make a copy. You got to be logged in to use this. And then when you're submitting these online, what you're going to do is you're going to go to file, download. You can download as Excel or PDF, and then you can upload those on Blackboard. So you can't just send me the link. The link won't work. 
All right, I think that's good. If you have any questions, let me know, and good luck with your sleep schedule.